Hi and welcome to the WordPress web development course for beginners. Um, this is lesson one or lecture one. Um, in this first lecture, I will tell you a bit about WordPress so that you can know what WordPress is exactly. So for that, um, I've created a little PDF document just with some information that you can also find yourself that I've just put it together. Just make this full screen here. Okay, let's zoom in a bit. Okay, so let's start at the top. Sorry, I don't know why this thing went all the way down. Okay, so what is WordPress? WordPress is a free and open source contact management system or CMS written in PHP and paired with MySQL or MariaDB database. Um, all these little things in bold, I will explain, just give a short explanation of what they mean a bit further down. Features include a plug-in architecture and a template system referred to within WordPress as themes. WordPress was originally created as a blog publishing system but has evolved to support other web content types, including more traditional mailing lists and forums, media galleries, membership sites, learning management systems or LMS, and online stores or e-commerce sites. WordPress is used by 41.4% of the top 10 million websites as of May 2021, which is at the time of recording this video. WordPress is one of the most popular content management system solutions in use. In my view, it's probably the most popular. Um, as you can see, it almost occupies more than half of the web. WordPress was released in May 27, 2003. So that's about 18 years that it's been around. Okay, overview. WordPress is a factory that makes websites. Just a quick one-liner of how to describe WordPress. This is a core analogy designed to clarify the functions of WordPress. It stores content and enables a user to create and publish websites requiring nothing beyond a domain and hosting service. Okay, themes. What are themes in WordPress? WordPress users may install and switch among different themes. Themes allow users to change the look and functionality of a WordPress website without altering the core code or site content. So just a quick note, this is a beginner's course. We will not be doing any coding, nor do you need to know any coding or have any previous coding experience to build your website with WordPress if you complete this course with me. WordPress themes are generally classified into two categories, free and premium. Many free themes are listed in the WordPress theme directory. Um, which is in WordPress also known as the repository and premium themes are available for purchase from marketplaces and individual WordPress developers. WordPress users may also create and develop their own custom themes. The free theme underscores created by WordPress developers has become a popular basis for new themes. Um, we won't be discussing how to create themes. Um, I will be posting more advanced courses on WordPress in the future, but like I said, this is for absolute beginners. Plugins. So, WordPress plugin uh, excuse me, WordPress plugin architecture allows users to extend the features and functionality of a website or blog. As of May 2021, WordPress.org has 58,463 plugins available each of which offer custom functions and features enabling users to tailor their sites to their specific needs. However, this does not include premium plugins that are available, approximately 1,500 plus. I personally think that number is a bit higher than that, which may not be listed in the WordPress.org repository. These customizations range from search engine optimizations or SEO um, which basically means it gives search engines like Google or Bing the ability to find your website easily, to client portals used to display private information to logged in users, and content management systems. 
to content displaying features such as addition of widgets and navigation bars. We'll learn all about what net widgets and navigation bars mean further down in the course. Mobile applications, phone apps for WordPress access for web OS, Android, iOS, which is iPhone, iPad, <coughs> and iPod Touch, and Windows Phone. These applications designed by Automatic have options such as adding new blog posts and pages, commenting, moderating comments, replying to comments in addition to the ability to view the stats. Okay, so now those things up top that I made in bold. So what is a CMS or content management system? Remember I said WordPress is a content management system. So a content management system or CMS is a computer software used to manage the creation and modification of digital content. You don't need to know all of this or understand the ins and outs of it to create your own website for this beginner's course. It's just to, to explain what each one of those things mean. What is PHP? PHP is a general purpose scripting language especially suited to web development. And I said WordPress is a content management system written in PHP. So this is the language used to write WordPress. PHP originally stood for personal homepage, but it now stands for the recursive initialism PHP hypertext preprocessor. What is MySQL? MySQL is an open source relational database management system. Its name is a combination of My the name of the co-finder, Michael Wedinius' daughter, and SQL, the abbreviation for Structured Query Language. A relational database organizes data into one or more data tables in which data types may be related to each other. These relations help structure the data. SQL is a language program is used to create, modify, and extract data from the relational database as well as control user access to the database. And then what is MariaDB? So your site will either run on MySQL or MariaDB. This all depends on the hosting provider that you use. But like I said, you don't need to understand in depth what these mean and how to use it. MariaDB is a community developed commercially, commercially supported fork of the MySQL relational database management system intended to remain free and open source software under the GNU general public license. What is a plugin? Um, in computing a plugin, plugin add-in, add-in, add-on or add-on is a software component that adds a specific feature to in an existing computer program. In this case WordPress is the computer program a plugin is the thing that will add features to it so that you can customize and add on to your website. When a program supports plugins, it enables customization. What is a template system or a theme as in WordPress? A web template system is a web in web publishing lets web designers and developers work with web templates to automatically generate custom web pages. So you will get themes in WordPress that you can basically import the whole demo content so that you can just change the information to yours. So it's basically a pre-built little website that you can just customize and make it your own. Okay, so that's the end of that day. So what I want to do is just quickly go to wordpress.org. Now in the next lesson, you'll see I've got wordpress.com there. And we've got WordPress.org here. So WordPress.org is what we will be using, and I will explain that in the next lecture. So WordPress is open source software you can use to create a beautiful website, blog, or app. Um, I'll just scroll through here quickly. Beautiful designs, powerful features, and the freedom to build anything you want. WordPress is both, both free and priceless at the same time. Um, trusted by the best, 41% of web users WordPress, from hobby blogs to the biggest news sites online. So, 
you can scroll through here just to get a bit more knowledge about WordPress. Um, I've explained most of these things already. We will go back. If, if you are going to develop this on a local server, which we will cover in the next section, um, you will be downloading WordPress from here. But let's just quickly, I want to go here to WordPress users. So you can see who actually uses WordPress uh, to build the their websites so just on the first page here sony music one of the biggest music entertainment companies in the world uses wordpress for their site um, adobe blocks uses wordpress for their site vogue magazine uses wordpress for their website and just some something interesting The White House. So the American government uses WordPress to build their site. Um, the White House has been using open source CMSs since 2009 and WordPress since 2018. In 2021, the Biden administration chose to continue using WordPress for their new site. You can go through here and see all the big companies in the world that uses WordPress to develop their sites. Um, thank you for watching this first lecture. In the next lecture, I will explain the difference between the two WordPresses because you actually get two. You get WordPress.org and you get WordPress.com. Um, the same founders, but two different platforms to develop on. And I will explain that in the next lecture. Thank you for watching.